Transparent. Today, we're diving into the amazing world of light and mirrors. This activity is called Mirror Mirror on the Wall. And we'll uncover how plain mirrors form images. Ready? Let's go! Here's what we'll need for today's experiment. A 10 by 15 cm plain mirror, a graphing paper, 10 1 peso coins, modeling clay, and lastly, a pen. Make sure you've got everything ready before we begin. Let's set up our experiment. First, place the plain mirror vertically along the line on the graphing paper, just like this. modeling clay to keep it steady. It's important to make sure that the mirror is straight to get the accurate result. Now, grab your pen and make three different marks on the graphing paper in front of the mirror. Label them as mark 1, Mark 2 and Mark 3. Next, measure the distance of each mark from the mirror by counting the number of parallel lines between the mark and the mirror. Write this measure in a table like this one. After that, observe the images of each month in the mirror and measure the distance the same way. Write those down. Here's the cool part. When we compare the measurements, we can see that the distance of the object from the mirror is the same as the distance from its image. This proves a fascinating property of plain mirrors. Images are always formed at an equal distance of the mirror. Now, let's stack 10 1 peso coin in front of the plain mirror. Use a ruler to measure the height and width of the stack, just like this. Look at the image of the stock in the mirror and measure the height and width again. Write your data in Table 2. This experiment teaches us some amazing things about the mirrors. First, the distance of the object from the mirror is always equal to the distance of its image. Second, the height and width of the object are also the same at the image. Lastly, images in a plain mirror are virtual, upright, and laterally inverted. To make your experiment even more fun, Try using colorful objects or different shapes to see how their images appear. You could also use a flashlight to explore how light reflects off the mirror. 
That's it for today's experiment. Thanks for joining us and I hope you learned something new and exciting.